In the name of God Almighty, the King, the Mighty and the Severe Avenger. Hello buddy. This time I went to Italy to learn more about the tourist places of this beautiful country. As the birthplace of the Roman Empire and the Renaissance, Italy has many masterpieces of art and architecture and has more UNESCO listed attractions than any other country in the world. The sites of Italy are not only limited to historical monuments, and wonderful natural attractions such as lakes, mountains, and beautiful beaches also attract tourists every year. Colosseum, Rome The Colosseum is the largest amphitheater built by the Roman Empire and the largest surviving structure from that period. This historical monument was built by Vespasianus in 72 AD and later the fourth floor was added to this complex by his son. The Colosseum has a capacity of 50,000 spectators, whose seats are arranged in a circle around a square, and many people come to this amphitheater to watch the fight between gladiators and wild animals or gladiators fight with each other. There are two floors in the basement of this structure, which consisted of tunnels, rooms, cells and passageways, and a wooden panel measuring 83 x 48 meters covers it. These two floors were dedicated to gladiators, workers, wild animals, and storage. Church of Santa Maria del Fiore, Florence The Church of Santa Maria del Fiore or Florence Cathedral is one of the most famous churches in the world and a beautiful attraction on the Florence skyline. This historical structure, which was built between the 13th and 15th centuries, has a very beautiful red dome, and its construction was completed by Filippo Brunelleschi in 1434. Opposite the church is the magnificent baptistry, famous for its bronze doors by Lorenzo Ghiberti. These doors are beautifully carved and kept in the Museo dell'Opera del Duomo to protect them from the weather and have been replaced by exact replicas. The Grand Canal of Venice Gondola rides on the canals of Venice are a tradition that tourists have enjoyed for centuries. Water canals have long been the main streets of the city, connected by a labyrinth of narrow passages. The Grand Canal of Venice is the largest and most famous of them, shaped like an English S and on its way you can see the most magnificent palaces that once belonged to the richest and most powerful Venetian families. The Leaning Tower of Pizza Torre Pandant di Pisa is one of the tourist attractions of the city of Pisa, whose world fame does not come from a magnificent design, but from a structural defect. Work on the tower began in the 1100s, and the subsidence and subsequent deflection of the structure occurred when the construction of the tower reached the third floor. The tower has become more crooked over the centuries and was predicted to collapse completely by the year 2000, an incident that did not happen and today tourists can climb its stairs and enjoy watching the view of the city. Pantheon, Rome The Pantheon is one of the best preserved architectural achievements of the Roman Empire. There is a huge dome in this structure, which is famous for a hole called the Eye of the Pantheon, and it was considered the only source of light and the way of communication between the temple and the gods. The noteworthy feature of this dome can be considered to be the proportionality of its diameter with its height from the floor, which are equal. 
The materials of this structure are very similar to concrete and have been spared from damage over the centuries. The 16 huge columns of this building, each weighing 60 tons, were brought to this place from Egypt and installed in the Pantheon porch. After the Christian kings forbade the use of the pagan temple as a church, the Pantheon fell into disuse, until the Pope declared it holy in 609 AD. In addition to Italian kings, Renaissance painter Raphael and other Italian greats are buried in the Pantheon. Troy Fountain, Rome Fontana di Trevi, made famous by several movies such as Three Coins in the Fountain and Lizzie McGuire, is always on the list of tourists visiting Rome. Many people believe that if they throw a coin into the pool with their right hand over their left shoulder, they will definitely travel to Rome again, a tradition whose origin is unknown. The Troy Fountain was used as a public water source from the 1st century BC and was connected to an aqueduct. In 1629, Pope Urban VIII was looking for a more attractive fountain and asked Gian Lorenzo Bernini, a famous Italian sculptor and architect, to make changes to it, but with the Pope's death, Bernini's design was shelved and never built. Finally, the current design of the fountain, which includes Neptune, the god of the sea, horses, and shells, was done in 1751 by Niccolo Salvi. Capri Island The small island of Capri is one of the best tourist destinations in the Campania region, where famous artists and many tourists travel to see the beautiful scenery and relax in hotels facing the sea. The Blue Cave is one of the most visited attractions of this island and among the sea caves, the best way to visit it is through boat tours around the island. Joe's Palace, with an area of 18,000 square meters, is considered one of the largest palaces on the island of Capri, which is worth visiting. There is a 274-meter-high rock called Tiber's Abyss near the palace, and it is said that if the emperor was displeased with a servant, he would throw him down from there. Other places of interest in Capri include Augusto Park, Umberto Square, Natural Arch, San Giacomo Monastery, Santo Stefano Church, etc. Rialto Bridge, Venice The Ponte di Rialto rests on more than 10,000 wooden piers that have remained since its construction in 1588. This stone bridge is not only a symbol of Venice, but also a link between the two sides of the city. Before the construction of the Academia Bridge in 1854, the Rialto Bridge was the only way to cross the Grand Canal on foot, and today it is still the busiest bridge in Venice. The architect of the bridge was able to win the bridge design competition in a close competition with famous people like Michelangelo. He designed a bridge with three walkways, currently the two outer ones are always crowded with tourists taking in the view of the Grand Canal and its boats. The wider path in the center also stands out with small shops of rhinestones, linen fabrics, painted glass, etc. Milan Cathedral Duomo di Milano is one of the largest churches in the world and probably the best example of the Gothic style, which was built over the course of six centuries. 
The exterior of the cathedral has 2,245 marble statues and is decorated with 135 carved minarets. One of the interesting sculptures of this church is the statue of Saint Bartholomew, which amazes every viewer. The soaring ceiling of the main hall is on 52 huge columns and looking around you can see large windows with beautiful colored glass and marble floor in white, black, and red colors. San Marco Church, Venice San Marco Church is one of the most important tourist attractions in Venice and a work of art in which different styles of architecture, especially Byzantine architecture, can be seen. Among the charms of this church, we should mention the mosaic work of the domes, arches, and high altar decorated with gold and jewels. If you go to the porch of the church and stand among its symbolic horses, you can enjoy unforgettable views of San Marco Square and the clock tower. Next, visit the Doge's Palace next to the church, which is filled with masterpieces of Italian art. Amalfi Coast the Amalfi Coast is a spectacular stretch of coastline along the Sorrentine Peninsula south of Naples and Sorrento. Positano and Amalfi are the main cities in this area and you can visit different cities by boat or go to the beach by car and enjoy the nature and peace. In addition, numerous walking paths are stretched across the beach, which are an ideal choice for sightseeing, especially the path Sentiero degli Dei which means walking path of the gods which is located at the end of the western part of Positano. Lake Como, Milan Surrounded by mountains and surrounded by beautiful small towns, Lake Como was home to the wealthy in Roman times. One of these cities is the small lakeside town of Como, a short train ride from Milan. The lakeshore is full of gardens due to the very pleasant weather, a subject that is attractive to many tourists. Magnificent villas and palaces line Como's forested coast, some of which are open to the public. There is a monastery belonging to the 11th century AD in this area, which is worth visiting. Finally, take a cruise on the lake and visit the lakeside attractions. Cinctir, Genoa Cinctir is a famous coastal area with hills and cliffs overlooking the Mediterranean, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There are five beautiful villages named Manarola, Raya Maggiore, Bernaza, Corniglia, and Monterosso in this area, which can be accessed by various ways such as a railway track, a beautiful narrow road and walking paths. Walking between villages is one of the most popular activities for tourists, which gives them the opportunity to see natural landscapes. Uffizi Gallery, Florence The Uffizi Gallery is considered one of the most famous art museums in the world and an ideal destination to learn about the history of Italian Renaissance art, which houses the valuable works of artists such as Michelangelo, Raphael, Piero della Francesca, Medici, etc. The biggest treasure of this gallery is the collection of paintings that show the evolution of painting from the 14th to the 16th century. Here you can see the first experiments in the use of perspective, as well as some of the first portraits where painters moved beyond religious art. 
Some of the first uses of nature and landscape backgrounds in religious art can also be seen in this gallery. Pompeii Ruins, Naples Pompeii is located at the foot of Mount Vesuvius, a volcanic mountain that erupted buried this ancient city under ash, and several centuries of exploration led to the discovery of remains of houses, markets, baths, temples, theaters, streets, and human remains. Today, you can witness Roman engineering more than 2,000 years ago by walking in the ruins of the streets that were once used by chariots and carts. At the Antiquarium Museum in Pompeii, visit works that are kept there because of their fragility or to prevent weathering. Among these works, we can mention daily life items, jars, plaster sculptures, etc. As the main square, the Forum is one of the most attractive parts of Pompeii, surrounded by various shrines, the Wool Sales Hall, and the Senate. The excavated city of Herculaneum, located near Pompeii, was destroyed by a similar eruption in AD 79, but lava and ash preserved its remains well for centuries. Roman Forum, Rome The Foro Romano is a historical attraction and you need a good guide or a bit of imagination to understand its original form and use. Forum was called a large open space or the central square of the city in the cities of the Roman Empire, which was used for trading, watching gladiator matches, etc. First, temples and then public buildings were built in this place, and very soon this place was used as the Roman government center. With the construction of the market, trade flourished and the forum gradually became the center of people's life in the city and eventually the Roman Empire. Archaeological excavations in the Roman Forum began in 1803 and took 100 years to fully excavate. Today, after thousands of years, only pillars, foundations of temples, market halls, courts and public buildings remain. Church of San Vital, Ravenna Since 402 AD, when Emperor Honorius moved his court from Milan to Ravenna, this region was the capital of the Western Roman Empire. Honorius and his sister began the process of turning Ravenna into a center for Byzantine mosaic art, an effort that continued during the reign of Theodoric the Great. Today, the results of their actions can be seen in churches and magnificent historical buildings such as Church of San Vital. The Dome of San Vital is so artistically decorated with very small mosaics, as if its images were depicted with the delicate brush of a painter. In a city filled with rich Byzantine-style religious art, San Vitali's mosaics stand out for two particular scenes, panels depicting Emperor Justinian and his wife Theodora with their courtiers, and noted for their Byzantine royal costumes. Civita di Bagnagrio, Vitro Vitro is a city in the Lazio region of Italy. Civita is part of the city of Vitro, which was founded about 2,500 years ago. This city is located on a rocky plateau overlooking the Tiber River Valley in central Italy. Currently, Civita is subject to severe erosion and destruction. This city was included in the list of world monuments in 2006. Ponte Vecchio, Florence 
The Ponte Vecchio is a medieval stone arch bridge in Florence, Italy, over the Arno River. This bridge is famous for its old bazaar, which used to belong to butchers and is currently reserved for jewelers. Positano, Salerno Positano is a commune in Italy, located in the province of Salerno. Commune is one of the main country divisions common in Italy. Italy has 20 regions, in each region there are provinces and communes. Positano can be considered the jewel of the Mediterranean Sea in the southern part of the Saccharino coast. Tuscany The Tuscany region, which is located in the center of Italy, has beautiful villages in its heart. Life in the villages of the Tuscany region is ongoing and many festivals are held every year on the islands and beaches of this region. Matara, Basilicata The city of Matara or Metra is located in the district of Basilicata in Italy. This ancient city is located in the south of Italy and is known as the historical center of this region. In the past, tourists visited this area very little, but today Matera or Metra has become one of the most visited places in Italy. Naples Archaeological Park, Syracuse The Archaeological Park of Naples is located in Syracuse, where part of the most important ruins of ancient Rome are located. One of the most prominent buildings is the Latomia del Paradise Theatre, which dates back to the 5th century BC. Aeolian Islands The Aeolian Islands are a volcanic archipelago in the Tyrrhenian Sea north of Sicily, named after Apollo, the god of the wind. Panaria is one of the islands of the Aeolian Islands, located in the northeast of Sicily. The white streets of this island, small boats with beautiful sails are only part of the attractions of this beautiful island. Summer season is one of the most exciting times to travel to Panaria Island. Salina Island is another island of the Aeolian Archipelago, which is actually the largest island in the Pacific Ocean northeast of Sicily. The two main volcanoes of this island are the Monte di Pori volcano with a height of 560 meters and the other Monte Fassa del Flacchi with a height of 962 meters. These volcanoes are currently inactive. The mountain slopes of Salina Island are a suitable place for planting grapes and olives. Volcano is also a volcanic island in the Italian Tyrrhenian Sea, which is located 25 kilometers north of Sicily, at the southernmost point of the Iolan Islands. This island has an area of 21 square kilometers and is located 501 meters above sea level. Colasabina, Asinara Island Asinara Island is a special island in the northwestern area of Sadrina, which has an area of 52 square kilometers. The rocky hills of Asinara are one of the important centers for the supply of minerals and are considered one of the natural reserves of Italy. In the past, this area was not safe enough to visit, but in recent years Asinara Island has become one of the most touristic islands in Italy. Lake Isso, Lombardy Lake Isso is the fourth largest lake in Lombardy, located in northern Italy. This lake is one of the most beautiful lakes in Italy and thousands of tourists come to Lombardy to visit it every year. 
Longhi, Piedmont. Piedmont is one of the 20 regions of Italy with an area of 25,399 square kilometers and a population of 4.4 million people, whose dialect is Piedmontese. Lang is a part of the Piedmont region that is famous for its white mushrooms. Cascata del Marmor Waterfall, Tierney Tierney is one of the ancient cities of Italy and the capital of Tierney province of Umbria. Cascata del Marmor Waterfall, which has a height of 165 meters. This waterfall is at the beginning of the Lino River and part of the electricity in the area is provided by the water pressure of the waterfall. Val di Orsha, Tuscany Val d'Orsi or Val d'Orsi is a region in central Italy's Tuscany that stretches from the hills south of Siena to Monte Amiata. This place is registered as a natural resource in UNESCO World Heritage. The green valleys of this region are famous and attract many tourists to this region. Ponza Islands, Pontine Archipelago the Punit Islands are located in the Turinian Sea in the west and include the islands of Ponza, Zanoni, Pomerola, Gavi, Ventant, and Santo Stefano. The beautiful scenery of these islands is known as the most beautiful tourist area in western Italy. Mount Etna, Sicily Etna is a volcanic mountain in the northeast of the island of Sicily, which is one of the highest mountains in Europe and is 3,350 meters above sea level. This volcano is known as one of the most active volcanoes in the world and its history of eruption goes back 3,500 years. Circeo National Park Latina. Circeo National Park is located 100 km southeast of Rome and leads to the coast of Anzuio, and this area includes an island called Zanoni. Kituna, Siena. Citona is a commune in Italy, located in the province of Siena. Kituna has an area of 53.17 square kilometers and is located 350 meters above sea level. Olive sales are booming in this area. Mount Surat, Tiber River The Tiber River is the third longest river in Italy, which originates from the Apennine Mountains in Emilia-Romagna and flows into the Tyrrhenian Sea. Surat Mountain has six main peaks and is located in the north of the region. Bolzano, South Tyrol Bolzano is a city in northern Italy, located in the Alps between Austria and Italy. In 2010, 2012, and 2014, this city was recognized as the best city in Italy to live in. The employment rate in this city is very high. Solenote Archaeological Park, Sicily Step by step, Italy has hidden history in its heart. Solenote Archaeological Park is one of the most beautiful archaeological parks in Sicily, where five beautiful temples are located, including the Temple of Hera. Dolomite The Dolomites are a mountain range in northeastern Italy that is part of the Alps and extends west of the Adige River to the Pito River. The mountain range has high peaks and in the First World War, it was the place where the Italian forces fought against the Hungarian army. Grotta Giganti, Trieste 
Grotta Giganti or the Big Cave is located in the city of Trieste in northeastern Italy, a port with this name is also located in northeastern Italy. This cave is one of the largest caves in Italy, which is covered with beautiful stalactites and stalagmites. This cave was first discovered in 1840 and was opened to the public in 1908. The cave entrance is 1.7 meters high and 130 meters long and 65 meters wide. Ancient Amphitheater of Tarmina, Sicily Tarmina is part of the eastern coast of Sicily, shadowed by Mount Etna. In addition to its antiquity, this area has a unique beauty.